Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a laptop, this is a high-end gaming laptop, this is a Predator Halos Neo 16, the exact model is an N22Q22 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step how you can open it up, how you can remove the battery or replace the battery on this laptop, it's really easy, if yours is not holding up any more charge, you just want to simply replace it with a new one, you can do that with no problem. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a good tip how to keep the battery health at the best performance state possible by doing it once every couple of months, the steps, and for the initial use too. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Just remember by replacing the battery, you're not going to uh, do any extra configuration required afterwards, or you're not going to lose any files. You can use the laptop without the battery plugged in. It works fine with no problem, just with a charger. And the charger will last you longer, the motherboard will last you longer because there will be less stress on the motherboard and on the charger. Alright, with all this said, let's get into it. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop, make sure it's completely off, you want to flip it upside down, and you want to grab the screwdriver set. I'll be using an Afixi screwdriver set, as they have the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel, you're going to use a Phillips number one, and if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this set, let's get into it. At the bottom cover, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws, the one in the middle too. There is no hidden screws, so you're going to start from one corner, and you're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and start removing all of them and keep them in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, let me see if I haven't missed any. Nope. And what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool, and we're going to start from the front end of the laptop. Because I know the battery is in here, there's no electronics, so you want to stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. And what you want to do, you just want to twist it outward, and you want to hear a big click sound. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear those click sounds, those are the clips are getting loosened up, you're not breaking anything. So stick it and do a little jack and bring it upward. Do this to the all the way to the corner, to the sides. By the fan, you don't want to go to the back corner. You want to do just the front and the side. And there we have it. All right, once you did the front and the side, you want to put it down. And you want to grab the power and wiggle it around a little bit while you're pulling it up in 45. And it's going to snap the back uh, section out. All right. And there we have it. And the battery is right in front of you. There is no screw or anything on this uh, battery. So I don't know why there's a screw hole, but they never put it. So it just pretty much stays loose by bottom cover, holding it in place by this fabric. I mean, foam. All right. I don't know why Acer does this. So this is an Acer battery model and AP21A8T. I'll try to get the link for this one. I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase. To disconnect it, it's really easy. Just remove this gaffer's tape over, and to make move the battery backward, you don't want to yank on the cables. You could if you want to replace it, but I like to put my fingernails on the side of the jack on the white one and pull it straight back. Don't go sideways. Go straight back. Otherwise, you're gonna bend the pins. This is brand new, so there are two big cells. I don't know how, what kind of configuration they have in here. The board is in the middle. Two big junk heavy cells in there. All right. So let's say you got the new battery, and if you want to remove the BIOS battery, the BIOS battery is right in here. There's a one jack, simply lift it up and replace the battery. It has a little adhesive on the other side. All right, so to put the new battery in, make sure the jack, it's facing straight the connector, and you want to pinch it straight in straight. I can't Say how much I uh, see get a comment, people uh, put it sideways and they get a little spark in there and game over. Always pull it out straight. All right, to finish up, put the battery right in the place in here. Make sure the cable stays in there. 
If you want to put the gaffer tape over, put it over, or if you don't, don't. It doesn't make any difference. And to finish it off, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, scoop it from the back towards the front, and push the sides in. Make sure you hear those nice click sounds. That's what you want to hear. And if you see any gap open, just pinch it, and it's going to snap to its place. And to finish it up down here is to grab the bottom screws and place them all over the place, whatever you see a screw hole. Again, I hope this video helped you guys out. Also, now regarding the new battery, if you have the new battery once plugged in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off. You want to plug in the charger and let it there sit for at least two to three hours charging completely. After two to three hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in, and you want to discharge the battery down to the lowest that you can go 20% or whatever your Windows is set at. Bring it down to 20 all day, and with the brightness down to 50%. Don't put any gaming or heavy load. You want to gradually bring the battery charge down. You don't want to bring it down too quickly. Once it's discharged, Power it off completely, leave it charging again while it's off for another two to three hours. After that, you can use it as you wish. And this initial charge and discharge, it is very important and crucial for the new batteries installed. And you should be doing this cycle once every couple of months or every three months at least to keep the health of the battery at its best uh, state possible. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.